Hikaru, congratulations. Were you ever in any moment of doubt throughout the tiebreak? Um, I, I, I wouldn't say I was in, in doubt, really. Um, perhaps there were a couple of moments where I was uncomfortable in the first game against Anton. But, but overall, um, I, I don't think I was ever in any real danger of not winning. So it was, uh, it was, it was, it was quite nice to, to win again. Right, we had Anton here earlier, and in fact, we felt when we were seeing the tie breaks that he was doing pretty well actually in his games uh, with the white pieces. He seemed to be in a good position, even with black. What do you think happened then? Yeah, I mean, I, I think overall throughout the tournament, he played quite well with white. Um, you know, it, just look at the results. I mean, I think with white, he beat um, he beat, beat Boris in a fantastic work and pawn end game. I mean, I think he played it about as as perfectly as you could. I mean, it was just textbook. So. Um, he played quite well with White throughout the tournament, and then, of course, in the first game, there, he had a little bit of pressure, um, but he was a little bit too passive, I felt, at the critical moment. But one, once that moment passed, I don't think he ever really had a chance again to uh, to do do anything, maybe you know, even claim an advantage. So he, he had a very slight window in the first game. In the second game, um, it, was, it was very tense, obviously, but he, after he allowed this B4 move, uh, around move 25, I think it was, um, he, he was just struggling, and uh, I, I mean, he didn't really have chances after that. Right, now when you qualified for the tie breaks by winning your last round, how confident were you of the overall victory? Um, well, I, th I thought I was the favorite, certainly, but I mean, uh, based on the tiebreak that I played against you in the Millionaire Chess, which was, uh, I think I was quite lucky not to lose, um, uh, I, I knew it would be, uh, it, it wouldn't be as simple as everyone thought. So obviously beating you uh, was the first step. And then in the final, fortunately, I didn't have to play any blitz because, I mean, already I think I'd played a, played a lot of games and playing more would not have uh, been to my advantage, I don't think. Right. Now, as a tiebreak system, do you favor the playoff or do you prefer the other ways of deciding who's the champion? What do you think is better for chess? Um, you know, I, I think uh, it's certainly if you look at it from a sporting standpoint, it's better to have one champion. Um, you know, you can make an argument for our for, for both both results. I mean, I think Anton Anton played the best tournament by far and away. I don't think that's uh, in dispute. But uh, when you, you, you have such formats, that's how it goes. I mean, you look at the candidates, for example, uh, Karyak, and okay, he won the last game, but we, you know, if, if Fabiano didn't, wasn't suffering, you know, in the tie break, uh, probably he wouldn't have gone, gone crazy trying to win. So, you know, there, there are pluses and minuses to both, but um, it's, it's been this way here in Gibraltar for many years now, so uh, it seems, seems, seems quite good for me, and I've, I've been able to win a few times now. Right, in fact, just talking about that too, this is your third time in a row. How is this different from the first two and how is it special for you? Um, well, I think there's a big difference. The first one that I won, in, or not first one, but the first first of the three in 2015, I guess it was, um, uh, that one was very smooth. I mean, no, no tournament that you're playing in should really ever be that smooth. I mean, I think I started off something like 7-0. I was just winning games out of the opening. Um, and so that was very smooth. And last year, um, I was kind of in the middle of the pack. And, uh, and then I won a couple of critical games at the end when I had to. So last year and this year were, were pretty similar in that I was slightly behind. Um, but, but I had a chance, and I won at the end when I, when I absolutely, absolutely had to. So it was, uh, you know, I came through when, in the critical moments and that's really uh, the most important thing, I think. Right, and I mean, the fact that you also had Fabiano playing here, who is US number one, does that make it even more special in a way that you were able to prove that you're a better player in the Open, maybe? Um, well, I mean, I think Fabiano did better than me in the Isle of Man tournament like a few months ago, so... You know, I, I don't think, I mean, I, I don't think it's based on any one result. Obviously, uh, Fabiano had a rough tournament here, even in the last round, for example, he, uh, he only drew. So I, I don't think Fabiano played his best chess, but, um, but still, yeah, it's, it's always nice to finish, uh, finish ahead of, you know, the top seeds, uh, Fabiano or Maxime. So, yeah, I, this tournament I played better than them, but, you know, there's always next tournament. We'll, we'll see what happens because I'll be playing both of them a lot of times this year. Yes, you will. And while starting off on a high note, what are your future plans for this year? Um, well, I've, I've started off well, I think, the last like three years. I mean, I've won this tournament, then I've won Zurich. I've won Zurich two years in a row also. So um, I'll, ju I'll just try to play well throughout the year. The last couple of years, I've started off very well. And then somewhere around like August, September, it's all, you know, falling to pieces for me. So I'll just try to be consistent throughout the year. Right, just coming back to the tiebreak, Hikaru, what is your strategy in a moment like that when you know you've got fast games? How do you, how do you prepare yourself and how do you go into it? 
Um, I mean, I, I just tried to be solid with black. Uh, b basically, be solid, be solid in the rapids, and then um, then go for broke in the blitz if if I if I absolutely had to. That's kind of that's. But do you absolutely it. aim for the blitz then? Uh, I wouldn't say I aim for it. I try to be solid with black and try to win with white and rapid. And if that's not good enough, then then the fun begins. Congratulations on your big win, and good luck for the rest of the year. Thank you. Thank you, Hikaru.